This is Drev222. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing the Super S-Speed solid state drive. This is 64 gig SATA 2. The reason I decided to do a review on this drive is because I've had several friends that uh, have asked me about it. They know I'm into solid state drives on all of my computers and they wanted my opinion on it. I figured 64 gig, I'd pick that one up. I put it on my Toshiba Satellite L355. This is uh, one of my spare systems that I had sitting around, uh, so I figured I'd check it out. Um, first thing I'll say is, uh, as far as cloning drives is concerned, this has been the hardest one to clone. I tried ActiveAd, I tried uh, uh, this uh, Kingston, They on this CD they have the uh, Acronis uh, disk cloning software. I ended up, had to go through multiple times with reformatting and reformatting, and finally the Acronis software finally worked and I was able to get the drive to clone properly and uh, since then this has been running just fine it's a pretty good drive as far as speed is concerned I, I did a start up there for you uh, as I was talking my Windows experience index jumped up from uh, 5.9 to a 7.5 so it definitely sees that it's running faster running a Microsoft Security Essentials Quick Scan. This usually took uh, a couple minutes in the past with a 5400 RPM drive. And uh, right now it's running 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 20 seconds to uh, to do a quick scan so I mean definitely you see the performance of it launching programs and uh, everything it, it runs very fast especially compared to the uh, standard hard drive um, the one downside to this that I found is I use SSD life on all of my systems I I feel that SSD life is a good way to see exactly how long your system's going uh, to last with that SSD uh, drive. So at any rate, with the Super S Speed drive, it will only tell you how many times it's been powered on. Uh, it doesn't tell you how many hours it's been running like this one it's only been powered on 15 times but I can guarantee I've run it for at least 10 hours uh, as well it doesn't tell you any of the throughput information so it doesn't tell you how many gigs have been downloaded uploaded it also doesn't tell you the life expectancy of the drive um, with this information, I mean, you're basically back to hard drive as far as knowing how long it's going to last. Um, so, uh, that's kind of your call if you don't mind about that, if you just want to have the speed of it and don't mind not knowing at least an estimate of how long the drive's going to last, then this seems to be a, a decently fast SSD and the price tag is definitely cheap. Um, but if you like those added features that uh, come from the more expensive drives, then you might want to spend the extra few bucks. Uh, me personally, I will probably spend the extra few bucks. I've had great luck with Intel and OCZ drives, so that's probably what I'm going to stick with. I hope this information helps you with your uh, decision on uh, SSD drives.